Hey everyone, Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I will be reviewing and installing this brand new pet cover that I got for my Model Y. It's from a company called Lassie and the uh, thing that kind of geared me towards this pet cover is not only is it, you know, like your standard pet cover where it will cover like the uh, back of the, the rear passenger seats and it'll cover like the bottom part as well, but it also, it's like a hammock style. So not only does it kind of attach to the, to the headrest of the passenger and driver of the, uh, of the car, but it also kind of zips up, zips up on the sides and it will latch uh, to the coat hooks at the top so that your, uh, your pets can be a little bit more, I guess, contained within uh, the back seat. I don't know about you, but my dogs, like they just, lo they love to like jump around. They get so excited with car rides. My little one loves to like kind of go through the uh, center console there. So uh, hopefully this will be a little bit better for them. Uh, another unique feature as well is it comes with uh, seat belt attachments for harnesses as well. I highly recommend getting your dog a harness if they don't have one. You definitely, uh, this is just hooks it into the seat belt basically and this will attach your pet's harness. Uh, the reason I wouldn't recommend uh, attaching this to a leash, if some reason, heaven forbid, that you get into a car accident, uh, this will like this will pull on your dog's neck and can injure or, or possibly uh, kill them. So I uh, highly recommend a harness for your dogs if you're traveling, anything like that. It, this does come with two of them. I found this uh, Lassie pet cover on Amazon for pretty, pretty cheap, I guess, uh, considering that everything that it does. But I guess, well, so I said I would be reviewing it, but I won't be the one reviewing it. Uh, I have a couple of special guests today. Uh, my own two dogs, Lucian and Tuxedo, who are my, my rescues. Uh, got them here when I first got to South Carolina, but other than that, let's get started. So installing this is uh, pretty simple. It takes maybe less than a minute or so. Uh, so basically what you're gonna want is the Lassie logo uh, right up here. So we'll unfold it. Uh, gray side is on the top, black side is down. So first thing you're going to want to do is just take both of these straps here and hook them over the, uh, the headrest here. It does come with two anchor pieces. I'll try to show those off here, but what these will do is they'll just hook basically just between the seats here just right behind the uh where the the baby seat would hook in if you had one take our second cover right here put it right over the headrest hook in the anchor piece and for some reason if that's all you want this is perfectly okay you can do this but to get the full effect of the pet cover take our other strap here hook it over the passenger side headrest Take our final strap, hook it over the driver's side headrest, and we're good to go. So you can, it does come with these seat belt clip-ins as well. And it's simple, there's little Velcro openings right here. Just hook in the uh, clip to the, each of the seat belts and reseal the Velcro to prevent any dog hair from getting in. Unfortunately, that's, I doubt that'll, uh, this will prevent it, but worth a try. So we got our seat belts all hooked in for the, the puppies. And here's the vent piece right here. You want this facing forward. I know maybe your first question is going to be like, well, what about the air? How's the airflow? Uh, they got you covered here. The air vent is literally right there. I can see it. And you can just adjust accordingly so that air blows uh, into the back seat. Uh, if you do have a lighter dog, be careful uh, with the air uh, because the way Tesla rear air conditioning works is it uses the weight sensors. And if it senses a certain amount of weight, that's when the rear AC will kick on. But if you have like a, maybe a cat or like a lighter, like a smaller type uh, dog, the a rear AC won't kick on, but you can actually uh, turn that on manually from the front. Uh, it does come with these uh, couple little uh, pockets right here. You can maybe just throw in make like maybe some treats or uh, uh, whatever you want to put in there. I don't know if I put treats in there, my dogs would definitely get in them and I'd have some uh, some some fat boys by, by the end of the trip. But that's it though, it's it's all fully installed. If you would like to uh, zip up the side pieces here to uh, more uh, enclose the opening. So this is, this is as far as they zip. I 
Yep, that's basically it. You can tell this was not made for a Tesla because here's these straps right here and they're supposed to basically unlatch one side, hook it over one of those like pull down like uh, the coat hangers or like the, like the hand holds and just kind of clip through it and strap in. Tesla doesn't have that. I don't know if you can uh, see it here, but if you own a Tesla, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a tiny little coat rack, so there's nothing much you can do. But the only thing I can offer is literally just kind of hook them in, but this is kind of flimsy. I'm not really, I don't know how I feel about this. So, and plus I can see the dog definitely like ripping that apart. So I guess you could just keep it like this. And then you just do the same thing to the other side. And now your rear pet uh, enclosure, it's all good to go and ready for uh, the trip. So uh, I'll go get the dogs and we'll get them strapped in. Wait, boys. Wait. All right, in the car, go. In the car, boys. Come here, Tussie. Yep, the hook demand is pretty simple if you can get two dogs to cooperate. Come here, Tuxie. Hook in, buddy. All right, Lucian's already hooked in. Tux is now hooked in. I adjusted it accordingly so that they don't uh, move around too much. Oh, I know Tuxie. I know Tuxie, boy. I know, boy. I know, boy. Oh. That's it. Good boys. All right, now that they're all hooked in, we'll go for a drive. All right, puppies are all uh, buckled into the car. They're very excited. Someone's a little needy. Tuxie, you're fine. I know, I know, baby. All right, now let's go for a drive. Guess I gotta put it in drive first. Lucian, you like the new car? Got more room just for you boys. Yep, just take a quick stroll around the neighborhood. Man, the dogs, they love car rides. Yep, they're the uh, real reviewers of this uh, pet seat cover, not me. Of course, I do like it that it covers everything so that like the dogs can't scratch it with their nails or anything like that, but uh, I know, Pookie. Tuxie, you're fine, baby. Let me pet you. There you go, buddy. You're fine. One hand for driving, one hand for petting the dogs. I know. Oh, I know, baby. You're fine. So, sorry. T Tux whines the entire time for car rides. I don't know why. Like, crazy thing is, uh, like, I'll ask them, like, hey, you boys want to go for a car ride? And they get excited. Don't you lose your So, yeah, they get super excited for car rides. So, Tuxy. Lucian, I hear you breathing over my ear, buddy. But yep, purchased uh, this pet cover, this Lassie pet cover off of Amazon. I think it was like $55. So overall, not bad. I do like, I like the vent here so that uh, that they constantly get air because like the only rear air vent is right there. So if there's no air, then it's, it's pretty hot out today. So and also you get to hear me uh, voicing over, uh, trying not to uh, hear these whiny babies. AK Tux. I know, you're fine. Yep, they love to look out. Boys like the pet seat cover? <laughs> oh, Tuxedo, you cracked me up. I know, buddy. I know, buddy, you're fine. Shh. Tuxedo. Tuxedo, daddy's trying to work. You're fine. So, told you they love car rides. They absolutely freak out. They just love. They love to be outside. <laughs> Tuxedo. Here, here, sit. What's wrong, Pookie? You're fine. I know. See, you're fine, buddy boy. I don't know if you can see little Tuxedo there, but. Yep, he's my little hound mix. I got him from uh, one of the shelters here back in November. Yes, thank you. November 2019. Yep, got him from the shelter in 2019. But yes, back to what I was saying. Uh, yep, got Lucian Christmas Eve, December 2018. Yeah, he was my little uh, Christmas baby. Uh, 
So uh, I was here uh, South Carolina by myself, so we spent the uh, the holidays together. So it was definitely a good time. Just kind of driving around my neighborhood, see. You're fine, Tuxedo. Tuxedo's very needy, if you haven't noticed. I think ideally he like he needs to ride in the front seat, or he actually he needs to, to ride on my lap. Uh, if any of you saw my previous uh, profile picture for YouTube, it was me and then Tuxedo's on my lap. Shh, stop it. You're fine. Stop. Lucian Z adult here. He's, uh, he's three years old. My old man Lucian here. Lucian, sit down, buddy. Good boy. But overall, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe and hit that bell as well for uh, more future content. Uh, boys, seal of approval. Like the seat? Don't like it? I think they like it. Tuck's not so sure. I think he's just happy to be here. He's happy to be along for the ride. Oh, I know, baby. I know, baby. I know, Pookie. You're okay. Good boy. All right, that's all I got. See ya!